the backwards jumping trick. Interesting. Hey guys, Dylan Crisignato here, and I just want to show you probably the prettiest cricket you're ever going to see in your life. It's called the Handsome Trig, and you'll see why. Now, this one is a female, and their other name is the Red-Headed Bush Cricket. That's more appropriately named, isn't it? <laughs> They're so cool, though. But look at the size of those pelps. I mean, those are huge, right? I mean, maybe I can show you on another cricket I've got uh, the size of pelps that I'm used to. And even on that cricket, they're kind of large. But on this handsome trig, they're huge. Now, this is a female trig, and if you look, between her two circe, those little things sticking out the back end, that middle one curved up, the third, that's her ovidepositor, which means this is a female. No singing here. And I very rarely get to see them. This is the third one I've ever found. In fact, I saw this one hopping along in the grass and it just caught my eye. I bent down to look and I got quite excited because, as I said, I don't get to see these too often. But very beautiful, aren't they? They're not very long, about a centimeter. Uh, but their colors just catches your eye. So does the movement. It's not the usual colors you're used to in crickets and trigs and whatnot. You know, they're often green, brown, or black. Uh, they could be found in many of the eastern states of the U.S. They're often around the foliage and trees and the leaves and stuff. And when the males sing, as I've seen with other bush crickets and trigs and things, they like to line up between two leaves. And I actually saw one one time singing right in the hole of a leaf, like where there was a hole. And I believe it provides a little bit of cover for them, and maybe it even amplifies their sound. I'm not sure. Funny thing about these trigs is the fact that their mouth parts and pelps are constantly moving. Same with those antennae. Look at that. Um, they're pretty much just sensing their environment with them. It's intriguing to watch, I think. It's got kind of a, a, a trill that's not constant. It almost sounds a bit like a rattle, uh, but it's pretty loud for the for the cricket. Unfortunately, this one's a female, so you're not going to hear this one singing, and nor am I. Now, the Latin name of this trig, Philopelpus pulcellus, actually means beautiful leaf feeler, and that is an appropriate name. It's a beautiful cricket though, isn't it? I mean, it's really cool. And it's pretty interesting that they can jump backwards like that. Anyhow, if you guys are lucky enough, I really hope you get to see one in person because on video, it's nothing compared to in person. So thanks a lot for watching guys. Once again, I'm Chris Ignato, signing out.